Welcome back to the channel. I'm Drew. Let's talk about Anycubix S1. It's Anycubix first shot at a fully enclosed Core XY printer. So what's the big deal with a Core XY? And why are there so many companies releasing Core XY printers? Think about it this way. The print bed is the only thing moving vertically up and down while the hot end moves around handling all the side to side back and forth action. So the print bed is going up and down, hot end is going like this. This keeps the print stable, reducing vibration and print failures, which are the worst. I'm gonna throw some images up there so you can see what I mean about this sling and bed type stuff. I started with the Cobra Pro 2, a solid be beginner printer where I learned the ropes and tangled a lot of those ropes of filament. <laughs> uh, then came the Cobra 3 with Ace Pro, the multicolor system, and a step up in size and quality. This thing was a workhorse. So it just worked out of the box. Great. I have a, a link to the review in the description below. So now we have the S1. What makes this one so special? First off, it's like a little 3D printer fortress. <laughs> it keeps things warm and cozy for those high temperature materials like ASA and ABS. And it also muffles the sound. Like seriously, this thing is quiet. I think it's at 44 to 46 dBs. Um, what that actually means is I've been able to take meetings with the printer running in the background and no one even know that it was running. Um, it's not too loud that it, it bothered me when it was running in the background while I was on those meetings in, anyway. So it was pretty, it was pretty close to like someone in the back room watching TV and you're over in a different room and it's just a little bit of noise back there or maybe running a vacuum cleaner um, upstairs or something like that. It's not loud at all. Um, it has a print volume of uh, 250 by 250 by 250 millimeters. And I even printed the Ace Pro stand, which I'll have a picture of later, um, a video of. And that was almost the max height. Uh, I'm thinking about trying to print some Croc style shoes for my daughter. So hopefully I'll have some video of that here in the near future. But of course, no printer is perfect. I've had my share of spaghetti incidents. Those are soul crushing when you print something that's supposed to be like four to six hours and you get up and walk away and five hours in, you come back and there's nothing but a spaghetti mess in there. Um, it is really, really disappointing when that happens. So there, there have been some of those issues, but I think most of them were, were not the machine's fault and more my fault about not having the settings dialed in. But the S1 has some features that help avoid some of those issues. It has a skip object function for those multi-part prints. So you have 12 on the bed and one of them mess up. You can skip the ones that's messing up and it lets you keep on going. It has AI detection to stop um, if a print fails. And it also has a auto restart if the power goes out and you don't have a power bank on it. So those are some key features that I've, I look for in a new printer now. One thing I would like to note that if you had an Ace Pro that came with the Cobra 3 and you want to use it with the new S1, you'll need an anti-blocking module. I learned the hard way that you got to make sure that all the pieces will work right out of the box, which I thought they would, but that they this little anti-blocking module um, is only for the S1, which would kind of frustrated me in that aspect. I have ordered one. I haven't received it yet, but once it, get, once it gets here, I'll be able to 
uh, use my Ace Pro with the S1 again. So overall, the S1 has been a reliable machine. A few filament hiccups that had nothing to do with the machine itself, more my fault, but nothing major has happened with this machine. It's not the most expensive machine out there, but it's not also the cheapest machine out there, but it does have some great features for the price that makes it worth considering, especially if you want something that's enclosed and is relatively quiet. So if you're looking for a 3D printer that can handle a variety of materials and won't drive you crazy with noise or tinkering issues, the S1 might be worth a look. Thanks for watching. Happy printing.